we don't want to do that. All you have to do is open up your door. And why? Because you have a warrant for your arrest. You know, if you were any dumber, my IQ would go down. So today's video comes from Lens of Law channel. I'll go ahead and leave a link below to the source as always. So basically we have a guy named Jason who basically he's just a big five-year-old. Gets pulled over. Cops are cordial, respectful. They explain things to him carefully. And he maybe breaks down and has a tantrum. Ultimately he gets tasered and arrested. And as you might see by the title, being tasered results in something happening to his drawers. All right, so without further ado, here we go. On July 17, 2022, in Marshfield, Wisconsin, an officer conducted a traffic stop in response to a vehicle that had disregarded a stop sign. Hi there. Hi. Officer, you stopped in front of the stop sign back there. What's the reason for that? I stopped. You did not stop at all. You may have been slowing down, but you're nowhere near stopping. Do you have driver's license proof insurance? Insurance, we're still waiting on, we're having problems with the insurance company. Okay, so it's not insured right now? Not right now. <clears throat> okay. Which, I don't know why. I see this says it's not a driver's license. Is that going to be accurate as well? Probably. I, I can, do, you, do you have a valid license? My fiance does. Okay, but you don't? Not right now. I'm in the okay. process of getting it. All right. What process is that? I filled the papers out, and I'm just waiting for the state to reissue it. So you're revoked or suspended, or what are you? I'm eligible to get it back. I was suspended at one point. Okay. So already he's admitted he doesn't have insurance. He doesn't have a license because it was revoked. And, okay, so we all know how this is going to end. Let's just not lie to ourselves right here. We already know how this is going to end for him. What's your current address? Where are you coming from tonight? We went from the house that was going to go to, go to Walmart to get some salad dressing. Okay. Salad dressing? Yeah. Your fiance can't do that? She's not feeling good. Oh, okay. Um, is she able to come pick you up? I'd have to go get her. Well, somebody's going to come get you because I can't let you drive away from here, okay? So if you want to call whoever you got to call, um, work on that, okay? Okay. I'll be right back with you. So far, it's been straight to the point, respectful, polite, he made it clear you're not driving out in this car. And if he's not feeling good, then why are you running with the salad dressing? Yeah, so this guy, something's definitely off by this guy. I'll give me last name. First name, Jason. Date of birth is... I'm back suspended, looks like he has a 99 through Rapids. For resisting or obstructing, bond of 2500 and he'll need a new court date if he can manage to pay that. 10 for it. <clears throat> Here we go. Just him? Yep. Did you get a hold of her? Yeah, I had to wake my grand grandma up to come and get Okay. Uh, you want to hop out of the car for me? May I ask why? Uh, because you have a warrant for your arrest. That was for, that was taken care of. It, it was not. Why still? Jason, you need to step out of the vehicle. You have a warrant for your arrest through Wisconsin Rapids Police Department. I'm going to ask you nicely to do so, otherwise we'll break a window and we'll, we'll remove you from then the vehicle. Then Mercer's paying for the window. We don't want to do that. All you have to do is open up your door. And why? Because you have a warrant for your arrest. The thing is, that's bo it's a bogus warrant. Doesn't matter. It's a warrant. You have to it, they're gonna take you in. Whether you think it's a bogus, legitimate, whether it's a clerical error or not, they still have to take you in. You have to work that out in court or with your lawyers. That's how the system works. Sitting here throwing a childish temper tantrum like you are right now, does that change anything? What's they that? issued it for no reason. Why do you think it's for no reason? 
Because I, my fiance can't even tell you the warrant that they supposedly have on me was for resisting an officer. Yep. I never struck the officer. I never resisted. Resisting or obstructing is what it is. So I never did any of it. Okay. Here's the deal, though, Jason. If you refuse to get out of your vehicle and we have to forcefully remove you from the vehicle, you will be resisting. You'll get additional criminal charges for resisting. Everybody got that? I don't want to give you those charges. I'm sure you don't want those, right? Jason, there's a proper way of, of disputing criminal charges, and this is not the right way by refusing to get out of the car, okay? It's just going to make the situation worse. I never got a citation. Hey, Jason, that, that's between you and the Wisconsin Rapids Police Department? Yeah. You've been decent with me. I think I've been decent with you, right? I'm just trying to avoid a big headache and a lot of paperwork, okay? You don't want more criminal charges. I don't want to give them to you. Can you please just step out of the vehicle and you can resolve uh, that situation? I will once my fiance gets here. Okay, that's not how this works. Okay, so please grab your phone and, and anything else you'll need and step on out, okay? They are being extremely lean and extremely patient with him. And it's just, the police officers are always eager to jump the gun or start the violence. Proof positive, they're not. This is Jason. I don't care. Okay, it is what it is. You guys don't even care. If I, if I didn't care, and I just wanted you to get more charges, the window would be broken, you'd be pulled out of the vehicle. I don't want it to go that way. I'm asking you just please step out yeah, so, so we can deal with cuffs. this. It's part of the gig, okay? No, it's not. You, you're going to be under arrest for a warrant. You have to go in handcuffs. Okay, did you let her know you're getting arrested? Yeah, I told her. There has to be a way to settle this without having to be transferred down. That, okay, there is. Do you have twenty five hundred dollars? How much? Twenty five hundred is what the bond is. Even if you're able to post that, we still have to go to the police department, so you're still gonna be placed into handcuffs and transported until then, okay? Do you have twenty five hundred dollar bond? My grandparents might. Okay. But I don't know until they get here. So Jason, I will give you an opportunity to call them and figure that out. But you have to step out of the vehicle, okay? Can I at least call them before I step out? You're going to step out, and then we can call them. If you don't step out, then you're going to be transported to the jail, and then you can make phone calls, I'm okay? I'm going to be transported to the freaking jail. Jason, you'll have additional criminal charges. You don't want that, correct? Okay, so who's, who came here? Your grandparents? Uh, I don't even see them. Okay, step on out then. Somebody just showed up. Hey, just can you just stay over here, please? Well, it's my van. I understand that, but we're not finished up yet. Okay, step on out. Can you, can you dim that light? You're gonna step on out. I can't even see. Set your stuff on the seat for right now. Seriously? Set the stuff on the seat for right now. Stop. Go ahead, call. Brody, step back up here. Basically, he's acting like a child. Either he has mental issues or he's on some kind of drugs. But a mature, responsible adult would not be acting like this. Stop. No! Put your stuff on the seat. That's my fiance. Okay, step on down. Stop or you're gonna get tased. Get down. You're gonna get tased, you're right? Gonna get Retarded? The hell's the matter with you? Tased. I'm gonna get you! Fourth reason foot pursuit. <laughs> stop falling around the building. Jason, stop! You're not gonna win! You're not gonna win! Gray shirt, shorts, hat. Come on, he's coming back. Come on, by our, by our squad. Stop! Get on the ground! I think I made him shit himself. I think he just shit himself. I think he just shit himself. Good lord, this guy shit himself big time. I have a medical Get on the ground! So now he has a medical condition, and well, we kind of figured that part out early on when we started listening to what he was talking about. But it's his own fault for getting himself into this mess. He, he, they gave him every opportunity, and he decided to do it. And he, and he went around the whole building to come back where he started at. It's like, doofus, 
The police officer right there waiting for you. What do you think was going to happen when you get in the car and drive off? Roll over your stomach! Roll over. Taser deployed. Get in the car! Go move! And then get, Don't then move! Get that off my foot! Don't move! Put your other hand back here. Don't move. Get inside your car or you're getting arrested! It's on my foot! Okay. <laughs> Roll on your side. Ow. 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 Before you check, you got anything on you that you shouldn't have? No. Can someone get my Don't phone? talk. Don't talk right now. Shut your bitch ass up! <laughs> you need to leave the area, ma'am. My van's there. You're gonna leave the area for right now. What am I gonna do with my van? He has my keys, my phone, my stuff. Baby. You're gonna leave the area for right now until he's in custody, then we can discuss it. You guys are always this rough. On your side? I'm trying. Right. Sit up sit on your butt. You have a probe though? Uh no. can someone grab that? Alright, so one probe right there, where's the other one? I don't know. I only felt one. Do you see him? Can I at least have my shoes? Where are your shoes at, dude? Uh I have no idea. Alright, so I'm gonna pull these out. It's gonna be a quick pinch, so I'm gonna hold your skin back so it doesn't pull in and pull them out, okay? Okay, go. Oh. You got all the probes in there? I got two probes, yep. Alright, stand up. On your knees and stand up. Uh, yeah, you know how hard that is? Right. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. I have a question. As we walk squad car. Would it be possible to change? The boxers, so I'm not sitting in. Now you know where the title of the video came from. I think I ended up. I can't move. Move in. Ow, ow. Can, is, can I sit on regular concrete? Um, I'm going to get you in the car in a second. Are you injured? I have vertigo. Are you injured? I don't know. Okay. All I know is I need a new pair of boxers. Why is that? Myself. Okay. Yeah, you ran from the police, you got tasered sometimes, things like that happen, and it's your own damn fault. Is there an emergency blanket we can put down? Uh, yeah, I would do. Can I back up a, a, a no. couple feet, please? So I'm not saying, since I don't have my shoes. Oh, that's better. They might be over in the grass. Well, Jason, now you're getting those resisting charges you talk about, okay? Are you missing any property? Yeah. Sure. I think they're in the grass, uh, going around the building. All right, take a seat. Can I at least kneel? No. Does he have him vertigo? I can. Okay. I understand vertigo is you no know, the thing of her height, but. He's about my height. Trust me, he'll be fine. He's just being a baby right now. The vertigo would not be affecting him if he's just standing up. He's on solid ground. He knows he's on solid ground. He's just being a drama queen. I'm losing my bandages real quick. Would, I'll someone, I will. Yeah, when, these bandages here. Oh. Can someone grab my other arm? To hold that side up so I don't fall over. Yep. Gotcha. What'd you throw? Okay. What did you throw? Nothing. Officers searched the area for anything Jason might have discarded during the foot pursuit. Nothing of note was found. Put your left foot in. That's what I'm trying. Right foot all the way in. I know. I'm trying to catch my breath. Sit back all the way. Look away from me. Do you need to look away from them? Because then they'll either go past your head. I don't even know what to bite the officer's ears or their face because they're upset. They, didn't, they got arrested so they tried to bite the police officer. And that, and if you have AIDS or something like that and you break that skin, you could have infected them. So they tell you to look away. It's a little fun thing right there. Jason was taken to the hospital where he was medically cleared before being taken to jail for his warrant. He was given citations for operating while suspended, no motor vehicle insurance, 
and failure to stop at a stop sign. He was charged with and found guilty of resisting or obstructing an officer and sentenced to two years probation. So he got off pretty lucky, actually. It's just... Yeah, the guy was a moron. He could have maybe spent maybe a few hours in jail and have been out on his bond, probably. So, and it's his own fault. All right, guys, you take care, and I will see you when I see you.